invertebrates and invertebrates are really distinct or are they? What if I told you that this, this and this are your closest relatives? Meet the tunicates, your invertebrate cousins. Humans like fish, amphibians, reptiles and other mammals are vertebrates possessing backbones. The famous vertebral column are distinguishing feature from invertebrates or so we think. The vertebral column is segmented into bones lined with intervertebral discs. This is the presence of a notochord, hence putting us within the phylum Chordata. Now, how do tunicates share these features, these gelatinous creatures? They do not possess bones, but they are chordates. There are three types of chordates, cephalochordates, tunicates or urochordates, and vertebrates. Chordates have five characteristics. These features are present at some stage in their life cycles. The most obvious is the presence of a notochord, a flexible rod-like structure which allows for greater structural integrity and allows for a central area for nerves to branch out from. Tunicates have this present only during their larval stage where they actively swim and as adults they are sessile, meaning they cannot move about. Next is the presence of a dorsal hollow nerve cord. This is filled with nerve fibers for processing information. In vertebrates, this is divided into the brain and spinal cord, serving as the central nervous system. The endostyle allows for chordates to filter food, with the exception of vertebrates, for which it had developed into the thyroid. Pharyngeal slits have evolved many functions. Cephalochordates and tunicates use them for filtering food particles from water and in the case of fish and amphibians, it's evolved into gills. And for mammals like us, they disappear before birth. And finally, the post-anal tail, which allows for movement, balance and defense. Tails are rendered vestigial for humans, but are present in embryos. Same for tunicates, the tail only being present during their mobile larval stage. These features are what allowed chordates to become so successful, both their vertebrate and invertebrate counterparts. Vertebrates are unique in the sense that they are the only chordates with bones. Their skeleton allowing them to have great bite forces, aid in protection and speed, as well as structural support. But what all chordates have in common runs through their backs. This is proof that we humans are animals and part of the interconnected web of life. And we must strive to protect and learn about Earth's greatest work of art. How informative did you find this video? And how shocking? If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing to show support. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.